search optimization is a facility that we can use in Snowflake um, where we can apply it to columns within a table. Before it was just a table. Now we can actually apply it specifically uh, to columns and and we'll go over a bunch of the details on this. But what it does, as as we all know, Snowflake does not use indexes or enforced primary keys, and and um, and so what uh, search optimization does is is we can um, define search optimization for table or columns, and then behind the scenes, it goes and gathers up some additional metadata um, and builds what builds what it calls a search access path. Um, so that when we go to query that table, if we're using specific columns um, that uh, in our lookups, in our join or where clauses, it will allow our queries to be much, much faster. And we're going to talk about some of the details about queries. And if you haven't seen our pro talk on micro partitions, you might want to go and review that. We might talk about that a little bit today. But again, micro partitions, as we've talked about in the past, is the the be all end all to Snowflake performance. If you want performant queries, you want to prune micro partitions. And that's what all search optimization is all about, is new ways to be able to do that for specific types of queries and tables. And so basically we've got um, the ability to do um, column configuration. So if we had a, a table that had, it was wide table and we only were wanted to have search optimization on specific columns, we can now do that. We have the ability to um, support substrings and regular expression searches now, so we can set up specific search optimization on substrings that, so that we could use like reg regular expressions. There's some really cool stuff there. And we have support for fields in variant object and array columns, so our semi-structured data, one of the keys there, and I think we've got it in here, um, but that, uh, you can't use the substring in in the variant columns. We have to; it's an equals that we're going to use there, um, and then the support for geospatial functions. Hey, folks! Thanks for checking out this cut from our broadcast. To see the full show, click on the link in the video description. Also, check out our learning center, which has white papers, events, live streams, and short explainer videos on a wide range of data management topics. And of course. If you like our content, please share it on LinkedIn. That really means a lot to us. Thanks again for checking us out, and we hope to see you in our next broadcast.